Let's talk about The Black Phone 2, which is the latest film from Blumhouse that is going to be coming out next year. This, of course, is the sequel to the very, very highly rated and box office success that was The Black Phone, which is based on a short story from Joe Hill, The Black Phone. Now, this film is directed by Scott Derrickson. You have C. Robert Cargill here helping to write the screenplay as well. And you have Mason Thane starring in this with Madeline McGraw, as well as Ethan Hawke. Now, The Black Phone, huge success in 2021. It came at a time too. Too, which is interesting when many people thought where are the movies gonna come back and of course we get that uh thing every year horror is back horror has been here y'all horror has been here but many people thought that this was a great new reawakening almost like the witch back in a couple of years prior and of course we always think horror is in a new reawakening but i think horror has always just been ahead of the curve but the new film the black phone 2 has been announced for some time now and we've learned a couple of details over the weekend at new york comic con before we get into the new details and what exactly this black phone 2 sequel could look like make sure you subscribe notification bell don't forget to follow us on instagram giveaway announcing tonight for the 10 days before Halloween. Make sure you follow us everywhere. We got a new giveaway and we've already given the giveaway for the Alien Romulus digital codes, but we got another one coming that will be announced on Halloween. But let's get into the Black Phone 2. So at New York Comic Con, we saw Jason Blum talking about the several movies that are coming out from their slate, which includes the new Five Nights at Freddy and also the Black Phone 2. So Jason Blum talked about what exactly the conversation was. He said, when you did a movie well, I asked the filmmaker, can we figure out a sequel? Some directors say yes, some directors say no. Scott said, let me and Cargill think about it. Cargill and Derrickson eventually told him that they would make a sequel, and only if Hawk and the rest of the original cast could return. Blum said, that was music to my ears. Of course, they're going to want to make a sequel to a film that was about 16 18 million dollars to make and ultimately went on to 10x with over 160 million dollars at the box office right that is a no-brainer they were going to make the sequel and they were going to do it however they had to do it and you know i'm here for it i'm excited and what exactly would the black phone 2 look like so of course there will be some spoilers ahead because i don't want to really ruin this for anybody who hasn't watched the original and I mean, if you're watching a video about the black phone too, you know, I'm going to talk about it. So spoilers ahead. So if you're still here, spoilers ahead for the black phone, watch it. It's one of the best horror movies I've seen like this 2020s time. So in 1978, there was a serial child abductor named the grabber. One day he takes Finney Blake and we see that Finney Blake is going to be the latest victim. That is until he gets some help from the black phone. Through the black phone, he's able to speak to children that the grabber has taken before and ultimately is able to devise a plan where he's able to escape and we see that he has to kill the grabber by the end. So the grabber's dead. Finney is now a hero in his hometown, the one who killed the grabber. Now, the thing here is that what exactly would the Black Phone 2 look like? The Black Phone just centered around Finney and the grabber and one of them is already dead. And so what comes next? So Scott Derrickson spoke to New York Comic Con and said this, and this is actually something that he had pre-recorded as well, I will say. He says, I didn't really feel any obligation to do a sequel to The Black Phone, but I got excited by an idea that author Joe Hill sent me shortly after the release of the first film. And what I can also tell you is that in the same way that The Black Phone was a middle school coming of age film, this is a high school coming of age film. I'm hoping to make a film as good as, if not better than the first one. So there you have it. The Black Phone 2 is a high school coming of age film. So we're definitely gonna jump some years into the future and we will see Finney back as we know the cast has returned and I'm excited to see what the possibilities hold here because I think there's so much you can do with this whole idea of ghosts and all these other things that plagued Finney during his time with the Grabber. I'm pretty sure that was a very traumatic experience he had that he thought he was almost about to be killed and he was also plagued by these ghosts of these children who couldn't escape the Grabber. Like that's gotta be a lot that's weighing on him. It's one of the possibilities there. Now there's been some new cast that has been added to the lineup which includes Damian Bichir who is in The Hateful Eight. Nowhere yet on what the role that he will be playing but there's been some rumors that there might be a younger person playing a young Ethan Hawke as the grabber that is not confirmed or anything of that it is just rumors and that's something that I think we can always think could be a possibility or somewhere where they take this right like they want to sort of showcase 
how the grabber was or became the grabber, right? And I think that's a interesting premise, but I also think it's a very like thin line where you can kind of fall into trying to humanize this like villain character, horror monster, and that kind of can defeat the whole idea of it being a sinister thing, right? Because you sort of start to understand why they became what they became. I think one of the, I think one of the things that's so terrifying about the Graver as a movie character is that we don't know why the Graver is doing this. Why is the Graver out here grabbing children, taking and killing them? And what exactly is his like plan with it, like his end goal, right? We don't know any of that. And that makes the character that much more terrifying, that much more sinister. And like, you just don't know, right? And I think that's part of the allure of the first one is everybody was like, why is the grabber doing this? Why is he doing this? We don't know. And so it's going to be interesting if that is the approach they want to take, because I assure you this movie is going to do really good at the box office because the last one did great. The videos I've done in all of that, they always do some pretty good numbers so i think that this movie has a lot of appeal the question is if that movie does well do they do the black phone three where do you go with that one right if you're already humanizing the grabber you know so i don't know that's just my thoughts but this new story here that scott derrickson's kind of teasing with the high school coming of age it sounds interesting ethan hawk returning as well what I think definitely is a possibility here is that we will see Finney be haunted by visions of the Grabber. Maybe the Grabber comes to him sort of like the kids ghosted and there's a whole thing there. But what exactly would we see the Black Phone return, right? Because Finney would have to go back to the Grabber's house for the Black Phone. That's my only like question about this. Why would Finney go back to that, right? Maybe there's some answers he wants to get there. Maybe he talks to the Grabber through the Black Phone. Like the possibilities are endless, but I'm going to watch this movie. It, it comes out next October. Could be a Fantastic Fest premiere for sure. They did premiere the original Fantastic. They did premiere the first Black Phone at Fantastic Fest back in 20. 21 i believe or 2020 so we definitely could be seeing this one play over there as well but let me know what you think about the film in the comments down below i'm so excited for this well actually big mistake here the black phone i think came out in 2022 and they premiered the film at fantastic fest in 2021 i think that's the way i got my things all mixed up y'all but i'm excited i cannot wait the black phone 2 sounds interesting i'm a big fan of the cast i'm a big fan of the director and the writer so we'll see what happens but let me know your thoughts your theories on what the black phone 2 could look like and if you're excited about the new film in the comments down below don't forget to subscribe notification bell on 35,000 subscribers is our goal i'll see you next time stay safe and stay positive